are still waiting, actually, for this woman to come out of the car. And, uh, you know, Stu, we've been talking about the fact that they were going to possibly, you know, put out spike strips or maybe do a pit maneuver. Who knows? Um, but it looks like uh, the officers didn't have to do that. Perhaps this person ran out of gas. Susie, I, I've been asking around. The, I got Marcos up here tonight, uh, the piloting, and he's uh, he's been doing some inquir inquiries, <laughs> asking the uh, helicopter. I don't know. I, I'm kind of looking at that front driver's tire, and I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's flat. I, maybe mm. it's just the angle. We don't know, but uh, she did come to a kind of a quick stop. Just the attitude of the entire time driving for, like you said, over 150 miles, just keeping that... Uh, Keeping that uh, keeping that distance is stubborn. Is probably a good word for that driver. Uh, she just was doing the. Uh, well, I'm just not going to stop. I'm just going to keep going. So I didn't. I didn't really think she was just going to jump out of the car and say, "Okay, you guys got me." Now these officers right there, obviously they're taking uh, the one of those, those. Right now they're shooting beanbags at the window. That's what that officer with the darker uniform is doing. They want to break out that window. First is probably for communication. Second. They might use that as an entry point later on to uh, get inside that vehicle. Um, but of course, uh, she's not getting out of that car. Also, they were very concerned when this thing did come to a stop. The uh, helicopter from the California Highway Patrol doing some orbits. There it is. Uh, in looking inside best they could just to make sure that that person is in there by herself. Now, the, you can see that how the law enforcement is treating this. They are treating this person like a very dangerous suspect. So that whole incident that this may have been some sort of side swipe, it, was it an accident, was it on purpose, what happened earlier on down in San Diego, these officers are taking that very seriously. You can see these officers right there, they've got their, they have, li they have their weapons out, their guns out. The officer with the darker uniform has beanbags. Uh, so they were breaking out the window. See, maybe we can get Sky 9 to move around, but I'm just afraid that if we go on the other side to see a broken window, then she's going to pop the door open. Something's going to happen here. So right now, we're kind of hanging on this side. Uh, you were talking about the traffic. Well, it is starting to back up. California Highway Patrol, they've got already plans in place. These guys, traffic experts, uh, they're going to try to take people off the freeway early, farther down the uh, northbound 5, get them onto some side streets to get them around there. Now the officers from California Highway Patrol making an approach to that car uh, just to see what's going on. And you can see still very tense stance. Uh, that less than lethal, that's the guy with the darker uniform, obviously broke that window out and they may actually just hit her with that beanbag even though sitting inside that car trying to get him out. That officer though on our side, that's a gun. That's a straight out gun. He's holstering it right now. Uh, we'll see if that door is unlocked. I didn't think it would be. Uh, so we're going to see how they're going to have to get her out. It might be one of those bust out that window and help that person out of that car or there Here's we go. The door. That door is, uh, yep, it's uh, and the other There's officers a coming of, up to uh, help out. And then there you go. You, you knew she wasn't going to come out mm -hmm. on her own. Like so fighting. they're going to be taking her out. There they go, helping her to the ground there, uh, taking her into custody. But this pursuit coming to an end now in the uh, Santa Clarita area after this thing started all the way down in El Cajon. Well, they took uh, 